Yes, guys, I did it. I broke down and ordered a pizza. And uh, because of the advertising, I chose Papa John's this time. So, mm. hungry? Hungry? I'm hungry. Oh, cheese cheeseburger pizza. Off to see more friends. Friends that have had babies when I was in Thailand. So I get to see babies for the first time. Someone just messaged me today and said, how's it, what's it like to be back in America? It's wonderful. I get to see all my old friends. I get to see new babies. I get to eat my junk food like I'm used to. But I will completely, totally be honest with you. I started messaging, uh, Vaughn and Nui and and you know people from Thailand because I am I'm starting to miss them so bad even though I'm having a great time here I really am looking forward to that's a new building I am squirrel squirrel I'm really looking forward to going back to Thailand and, and being with my Thai friends now time to go back to the local hangout where I always go look how bad this looks this is beautiful, but look at this. Ugh. Seriously. Florida. But look at that. I've been back in America for one week and I'm already starting to get depressed. Just listening to the radio in the top 40. Take me back to Thailand. So I'm hanging out with my friend Grumpy. They call him, Gr why do they call you Grumpy? I don't know, because I'm a happy guy. He's not happy, he bitches about everything. Everything. And he drinks Budweiser, that's probably. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, whatever. What's up Greg? Hey. He has a Dodge Challenger, right? Yes. Challenger. He has a Dodge Challenger. And he hasn't drove it in six months? Six months. Six months. And I'm like, let's go for a ride. And he's like, eh. I'm like, no, let's go for a ride. Nah, and let's go for nah, let's go for it. We're going for a ride. Eh. <laughs> is that crazy purple? No. What is it? It's blue. More. I don't even know. I forget what it looks like in here. But it's a 2013, and I have 1,527 miles on it right now. He hasn't even driven this car in six months. And now, look, he's like a little boy. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you should drive it more. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, you yeah, should. Yeah, yeah. I am going now to pick up my friend, and uh, yes, yeah, so we'll be right back. Yeah, and in Florida, you can drive in and out of the rain, literally. Now, and unfortunately, like I said, but Shannon's here. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna turn the wings up. Turn the wings up. Anyway, this is Shannon. We gotta let her go. She's gonna go grocery shopping. I'll talk to you later. She's so cute that I can't show you much more, but no, she's not from Thailand, even though she's <laughs> half Korean. She's not from Thailand, but ain't she hot? <laughs> I am not joking about the rain here in Florida, people. So after the torrential downpour, I got home today and went into complete extreme panic because I'm dog sitting and one of the dogs was gone. The house has a fence. The house has a security system which was armed. Oh, sorry. So I got here and Boo, that one's Boo, decided to escape somehow. And I don't know where she escaped, but she was dry. She wasn't wet, so she was hiding somewhere. I looked around the neighborhood for 
Two hours. Anyway, I had a traumatizing day, so I'm sorry I didn't have a really lively video. Got to see Shannon a little bit, but then it got uh, the downpour, and then I lost a dog. Terrible dog sitter, I guess. I mean, takes. All right, so maybe tomorrow it'll be clear and beautiful, and I can show you some more stuff. Maybe from Sarasota, Florida. So I was sitting here thinking after that, I'm like, well, I'm not in Thailand, but I could still tell you something about Thailand or the Thai women are over there. And this is a common, common one. The five questions that every Thai woman that works in a bar is going to ask you. So you can know these and or be prepared. Question number one. Question number one. What's your name? They all have nicknames. Their real name is very difficult probably for you to pronounce, so everyone has a nickname. So they ask you your name. Number two, where are you from? Which is a normal thing. What's your name? Where are you from? The third, are you here on business? Or are you here on holiday? Now, no matter what you answer, they're figuring out which way they're gonna go with it. If you're here on holiday, you're a short time person. If you're here for business, you're a long time person. Where are you staying? They're wanting to know if you're staying locally or if you're staying somewhere far away. So what's your name? Where are you from? Are you here on holiday? Where are you staying? And the fifth one is, do you have a girlfriend? Or do you have a wife? Most of the time they just say girlfriend. Now the sixth thing that is gonna come out of their mouth is not a question, it's a statement. They're gonna say, and I'll just, again, what's your name? Where are you from? How long are you here for? Where are you staying? Do you have a girlfriend? If you say that you do not have a girlfriend, within a matter of time they're going to look at you and go i think you have a girlfriend this will be said and it doesn't matter if you do or don't they're just figuring out who you are and your demograph and how they can actually interact with you so that's it for this little lesson i just figured while i was still in america i still had something i could tell you about if you went to a, a bar and hung out you're going to get those questions yeah you're going to get those questions can you take this asshole back to america please they did. Not goody goody. Blue, you like pizza? You like pizza? Okay. You like pizza? Oh.